professional home economist, author, and Second City alum, Marilyn Smith. Marilyn will be sharing delicious recipes layered with health from her cookbook, Healthy Starts Here. Today's recipe is salmon tacos. People are always asking me where I get my ideas for the recipes that I write in my cookbooks. And for this, my latest book, Healthy Starts Here, this particular recipe, I got the idea when I went to a restaurant in Vancouver. I had a fish taco at this restaurant. I went, whoa, this is a really good idea. I bet I could make it healthier. And so this is a salmon taco in my new book. So the first ingredient is salmon because it's a really heart healthy fish. And we really need to be having fatty fish at least twice a week to be able to get those omega-3 fatty acids that are so good for our heart and for our brain. So for this particular recipe, I'm going to bake it in the, in the oven. Now you could grill it or you could poach it, but we're going to bake it today. I've got my salmon already in the pan ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to zest a lime. Now make sure you wash this really well and I'm going to put the zest right into a, a little bowl. So we're going to reserve that. That means set aside. And then I'm going to I'm going to juice the lime. It's one of the ways to get your frustrations out. You just roll the lime on the table. And we're going to break down the cell wall so we have more juice. And then I'm going to squeeze some of the lime juice over top of the uh, of the fish. There's no seeds in limes, so you don't have to worry about any seeds coming out. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some Anjou chili powder. And Anjou chili powder is a bit more strong, whoops, a little bit too much there, um, than regular chili powder. So if you don't like spicy, and I do, uh, then you might want to use regular chili powder. Okay, so then we're going to put this in the oven, and it's going to cook until it's just done. And it's all by thick so you want a hot oven and it cooks this one's gonna cook for about five to seven minutes all right now we're gonna make the coleslaw now my first ingredient is heart healthy canola oil because it has the least amount of saturated fats and it also has omega-3 fatty acids in it and this recipe with the fish and the canola oil is gonna really give you a great source of omega-3 so into the big bowl and then I'm going to add apple cider vinegar because it's nice and mild and I kind of want the flavor of the ingredients to come through. And because canola has a neutral flavor, I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to whisk it around a little bit. It's not going to stay emulsified. So we're going to quickly add some shredded up cabbage. Now this is a really, really amazingly healthy vegetable. And in the winter months when there's no more, you know, leaf lettuce around that's local, it's a great time to switch to, to a coleslaw and that's where our cabbage is going to give us. And then we can usually get um, hothouse uh, peppers that are product of Canada as well. That's all sliced up. And then some red onion because I want a bit of zing in there. That's also a product of Canada. Now, in the winter months, we don't have uh, oranges in Canada at all, but we do import them from the U.S. And so if you wanted to make this coleslaw as is, you don't have to put the orange in. But when oranges come into season uh, from California or from Florida, then you can add the segmented orange as well. And that's going to give it a real zest. And then to that, we're going to add, speaking of zest, we're going to add the lime zest into the salad. And this really gives this coleslaw a really neat flavor. So by the time this is ready, your fish will almost be ready. And when the fish is done, we're going to assemble this fish taco. I like to add layers and layers and layers of health to everything that I make. And so this is a really heart healthy dinner. We started with the salmon. We have heart healthy canola oil. We have all these wonderful fruits and vegetables in the coleslaw. And now we're going to add heart healthy avocado. Now, a lot of people are avocado challenged. They go, how do I pick a good one? And I see people squishing the heck out of them and in grocery stores. Here's the deal. You want to find one that has a little bit of give to it, but you can't stick your finger like really push it in. And it, it is kind of like the luck of the draw, but you should get a good one. I like to buy them when they're really hard, and then I kind of regulate how they ripen up on my on my counter. And as soon as they're ripe, I put them in the refrigerator. So I've got uh, my, my avocado ready. I've got my fish that's already cooked. I'm using a whole grain tortilla, because we know that the more whole grains you eat, the better chances of uh, being heart healthy and actually reducing your chance of developing certain cancers. So there's my whole grain tortilla. I'm going to put a about a cup of this wonderful coleslaw on top and uh, you know what you can even add more if you want at my house we usually kind of almost double it and then we're gonna put some of this lovely avocado on top it's about two tablespoons per serving that was about one so I'm gonna add a little bit more because I'm eating this one 
and there's about two more tablespoons. And then I'm going to add cilantro. You can put about one or two tablespoons sprinkled on top. And then, because I'm all about spice, I'm gonna add some hot sauce. And I like it a lot, so I'm gonna put a whole bunch on because I'm eating this for dinner. And now, the rolling technique. You can either fold in the sides and bring the back over the top, this is really jammed, and the top over, and then you get to eat it. It's a mess. It's supposed to be, that's half the fun. When we have a fish taco night at our house, you know it's gonna be all over your plate. So enjoy, here's to your heart. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt this, oh dear. Mmm, <gasps> mmm, mmm, mmm.